Hi everyone, in this video I would like to explain how you can create your own map uh, for Work Adventure. So uh, first of all you need to go on Work Adventure, then you look at the documentation which is over here, and then uh, you will land on this given page. I already watched this tutorial many times, um, so even if it's written the basics, even if it says that it's simple, I have to say that it's implying um, lots of different things, technologies, and it may be not that simple for someone who is starting. So that's the reason why I'm making this tutorial. It's in order for me to validate what I personally understood. And I'm not even 100% sure if the tutorial will be 100% uh, correct and if it will cover everything, but I will do my best. Uh, first things first is that you need to have a GitHub account. And then once you have your GitHub account, you need to go on the following repository, uh, which is managed by Work Adventure. You click over here on use this template. You click here on create a new repository. Uh, in my case, I'm going to tick the box, include all branches because it's written over here that uh, you should tick the include all branches. Uh, then you give a name to your repository. In my case, I'm going to give the time of the time uh, description. I'm going to say test purposes. Test purposes. Okay. You want this repository to be public because it's going to carry the map that you would like to send to a work adventure. And then you create your repository. Uh, nothing crazy is going to happen here. It's just that the project is going to be built. So um, here it is, um, this is your project, and here you get your map, uh, which is over here, map.tmg. Next, uh, you need to download this map on your computer. So technically, you could go over here and download the zip, but that's not going to be very helpful because you will need at some point to upload your map. And if you want to upload your map, that's not something that you can do easily on GitHub. That's something that you need to do through uh, Git and you need uh, to install Git on your computer, either through the command line interface or either as a desktop solution. So in my case, I rather prefer to play with uh, GitHub desktop for, uh, for Linux. And this is what it looks like, okay? So um, then you need to go over here and click on uh, clone a repository. In my case, I want to pick up uh, this one. So I clone it. So clone means that you're going to duplicate it and download it. So uh, it's done. Then you click here on uh, show in your file manager. You're going to get an uh, access to your project over here. Then you get your map. So you map, you open it up with uh, tiled. So tiled is the solution which is used in order to create and edit some maps with Work Adventure. It's a free software. And here it is. So here you get your map. So um, nothing crazy. It's exactly the same one as the one I would have got if I was going on um, on my, I mean, if I was loading my project. So to give you an idea, so this given map, if I go over here in GitHub, and if I go within the settings, and if within the settings I go to pages, I'm getting my map over here. So if I click over here, I test my map. And this is myself on the map. Okay, so run on, and that's me. So I can already start to play with it. Okay, um, so the idea is to edit now the map on Git and to upload it back. So um, this is the map. It's already made with different components, which may confuse you if you don't know anything about uh, tile yet. Okay, so. Here you get collision start, uh, you get the floor. Uh, let's see about the floor. So uh, same concept as GIMP uh, will apply. So you get some layers. Within the layers, uh, you are putting some objects that we call uh, tile. And those objects after can have some properties. OK, if you would like to know uh, who is who, so for example, you select floor 2, you press H. And then you know what we are talking about. Okay, so uh, here I guess that's this given part. Floor number one, I guess, is I guess this is the carpet, maybe uh, the grass, not 100% sure. 
Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the furniture. So uh, which furniture are concerned here? Not all. Uh, here we got the table. Okay. And here. Okay. So I'm just going to take those uh, furniture. Okay. I'm going to just make a focus on those. So let's imagine that I would like to add, for example, a chair. Okay. You can add a chair and a table. Um, so you have over here the, the tile that you can play with. So here, uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, yes. Okay. We're going to take, for example, a stage. Okay. I don't know. That's not the best example of the world, but let's imagine that I would like to put a stage over here. I can put a stage like this. And then uh, let's, yeah, I want as well to take this and to put it uh, over here. And uh, well, that's not logic, as you can see, because this one, yeah, this one is light, don't is it? But OK, well, anyway, I guess that will be enough for an example. Uh, if you want to get rid of other things, what you can do is that you can take this and you can delete stuff. So if you would like to get rid of some chairs, for example, you need to make some space, you can do it like this. Okay. Like this. Okay. Up. Okay. So normally now, if I save my map, so I save it like this, save your map. And that I decide to upload it, I should see this and I should not see the chair anymore. So I go back over here. So here it's telling me in the software that some changes have been made. So uh, I sold the chairs and I added a speaker page. And that's going to be my V1. And now I can commit to master. Um, so to me, commit to master means that I'm, let's say, creating a version and then I'm uploading the version. Okay, so when you click on push origin, it means that it's getting upload on uh, GitHub. And then in GitHub over here, you will see uh, pending means that it's currently uploading and testing the full thing. So Let's see if it's passed the test. If it doesn't pass the test, you'll get an error and you maybe not be able to see your map accordingly. So here it seems it's working. OK, OK, OK. Well, I would be surprised if it's not passing the test. And <clears throat> OK, so V1 has been uploaded and seems to work. Uh, I'm getting no error. Uh, just to let you know that I did already two tutorials before and it was all going wrong. So probably there are some properties as well that you need to respect if you want it to work. And uh, now let's go on the map. So normally, if things are going as planned, I should see the changes. I'm not seeing the changes. So uh, I contacted Work Adventure for this and they told me that if it happens, better to clear your cache. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click on inspect. I'm going to go on uh, network and I'm going to clear, disable the cache. OK, and then let's see. OK, so it's still not working. Uh, hello. And I'm going to clear the cache here. OK, still not working, so everything's correct, so it should work. Test my map. OK, so what I'm going to do is like, um, I'm going to copy that out and I'm going to open another browser to see if the issue lies somewhere else. Okay. 
Uh, and here I am. So here I'm getting my uh, my chairs, which have been removed. So as the speaker stage, which is over here, I didn't insert any properties in terms of collide. So that's the reason why I can pass through those. Uh, we saw that we got a refresh uh, button, which was appearing. So uh, I'm wondering if I refresh this. Work advent. Okay. So it's still not appearing in Firefox. So I still have some issue with the, the cache, but as you can see, uh, working with two browsers is going to work fine and you can get, in fact, uh, your editing uh, straight away. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.